Fuck that. I just intrinsic. I just by nature, uh, or naturally, just like grab my cup yeah. in between episodes, even if there's no drink in it. Yeah. <laughs> What were you thinking about? Whatever it was, it was leaving a smile on your face. It must have been something nice. <laughs> take old bitties. Were, were you into YouTube when that, that when the uh, back when Raylan Johnson made a song about that? Uh, was that on your favorite Martian? Yeah. Yeah, I think that was when I was first getting into YouTube. Okay, that makes sense then why I was unsure. Because I, I thought that was like around the time where you joined, so yeah. I wasn't positive. Yeah. But yeah, it, I actually recently saw that that's again. Uh huh. I don't even remember why. I was like, oh well, I forgot that that was a thing. <laughs> yeah. And then I saw, and I like watched a couple or a few episodes of Nostalgia, and I was like, well, I I well, I haven't watched Equals Three ever since Robbie left. Because mm -hmm. I got used to him, and then they switched like a million more times, and it's not even worth it. <laughs> yeah, indeed. But and he, even Robbie wasn't as good as, not nearly as good in my opinion as Ray. Mm -hmm. But I thought he was still fine. But then going back and watching the old ones, I was like, oh well, Ray's just like, this is back when the show was in its prime. Yeah, you can really tell. <laughs> yeah, indeed. I swear that she winks at me as she says that. I wonder why. Indeed. <laughs> Don't insinuate such dirty things. You had best be keeping your thoughts pure, Seiji. <laughs> she did it again. <laughs> I swear that they were as pure as the driven snow. Oh, I, I'm also curious if it's just a translation thing, or if like Japanese people talk like cavemen, or they like refer to themselves in like the third person. Huh. Because I've noticed whenever I see like dub stuff, they're like, uh, when they say like me. Instead, they'll actually say their name or any pronoun instead of their actual name. They'll always just say their name. Mm -hmm. So, that, that's in I was like, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I, I do not know Japanese culture particularly well. Yeah. But I've, or the language. Yeah, that too. I read that. Yeah. You haven't even seen snow before. Let's not go for low blows here. I thought they had snow in Japan. Only on Mount Fuji. <laughs> Cause, yes. Yes, because it's snowing on Mount Fuji. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. The joke has been driven into the ground many times. Indeed. Maybe for our next trip we could go skiing then. That would be so much fun. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You could go water skiing. True. I guess skiing will be okay. But for now, we should we should keep enjoying the beach. But more importantly, you should see all the wonderful ingredients I've gotten for you, Genji. Oh dear. As I look at <laughs> the music starts up while wow. the I weird like music. <laughs> Bad girl. I it's, I still have uh, even after editing and like listening to the song, I still have yet to find like an appropriate use for this song. Uh -huh. <laughs> it just it just feels and sounds weird. Yeah, but it's not like... in weird like awkward like it they're using it. Because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like almost like Spy Pink Panther, but yeah. also like kind of weird and awkward. Uh huh. I just and usually I'm I feel like I'm pretty good at like music feel. Mm -hmm. Like oh, I know what I could use that song for if I was good enough at editing to make a music video or something. Mm -hmm. But this song, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's no application. It's undefined. I I can't even qualify this as like elevator music. <laughs> yeah. It's too. If this started playing an elevator, I'd be like. Actually, I'd probably like start cracking up. Uh huh. So actually, yeah, this would be my favorite elevator song. Indeed, it's uh, pretty great. If I did ever like become super rich and have like my own building, I would just play like the weirdest music in the elevators. <laughs> Indeed, oh, that's awesome. I want to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> just for the elevator music. Yeah, <laughs> not for anything else. Throw all my money out it. the window, <laughs> or spend all my money on elevators. Yeah, indeed. As I look inside <laughs> her shopping bag. Something in my mind starts screaming at me. <laughs> Just spend all my money on elevator pranks. <laughs> Teriyaki sauce, tomato sauce, oyster sauce, hot chili sauce. Oh dear lord. That doesn't sound like a pleasant mixture. Indeed. Oyster sauce doesn't sound like a pleasant thing at all. <laughs> I've never had oysters, so I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. It it's, just... it's the uh, teriyaki mixing with the other stuff that doesn't sound good. Yeah. I feel like oyster just sounds like... That's like one of the worst foods. 
that I ever can like imagine as being a food. Really? Because it's like, yeah, the, if if you're like eating it like a fan, I don't know, like in this gel still, like they do it sometimes. Well, don't, I think they usually break them open and then they have like, they or just in like just the bottom half, shell? and then okay. you like slurp it. Yeah. Out of the shell? It just looks gross. <laughs> it does. It looks pretty disgusting. Yeah, it doesn't look like food. It, yeah. It looks like you took a bunch of food and mashed it up and that's what's left. Yeah, indeed. It doesn't look like meat. It doesn't look like vegetables or even processed crap. It doesn't crab. look like fish really all that much. It looks like someone like just spit into a shell. Yeah. And it, it does actually kind of look like milky spit. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> You're right. Like... Apparently it's like super salty too. Oh really? So I like, I don't know. <laughs> I've never had it, but... Is it like a, a drink almost? It might just be, like, I don't even know how you prefer, prepare an oyster even. Yeah. Like, how do you cook it? I've always imagined it'd be like, like, chewy, like a gummy bear or something. I don't know. They call it like a muscle. Yeah, it's in the muscle. So, group. yeah. I don't know. But... I don't know, man. Yeah, it just looks and nasty and stuff. Yeah. And, and you get, get like nothing. It's like, you, yeah, it's, like it's with a cow, because it's like a tiny little thing. <laughs> yeah, like with a cow, you can feed like a whole family with like a steak or something. Depends on how big the steak is. Yeah, like what kind of steak that is? Because yeah. like, T-bone steaks are pretty big and like. But I mean, with the, the meat from one cow. Yeah, you, you probably get have. Oh, because you, you have like the rump and. You get tons of meat from one yeah, cow. Yeah, yeah, but like an oyster, that just looks like a, a ch like a chip. Yeah, you'd have to have like a bag of them to get full or something. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> So I don't, even, I don't even actually know what context you would eat them in besides, like, you have... A fancy place? Yeah, you just, like, eat one, and they're just like, okay, here's your oyster that we give everyone or something. Well, I think when you, like, or order clam, oysters, they, oyster. like, they put, like, 20 on a plate or something, and then that's your meal. Uh, kind of like a shrimp or something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shrimp are pretty nasty, too. No, they're not. Get out of here. Well, what? They, 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 shrimp are delicious. They look nasty to me. Okay, okay. <laughs> because, like, especially when they, like... You see people like rip the legs off and like chew on them, like ah. Oh. That's lobster or crab. Oh. oh, okay. Shrimp is like the little curly bits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. When you just you bite, you just bite off, bite them off, and then you leave the tail behind. Okay. So. Yeah, I've never had lobster, Me so I, I'm just saying the way they look. When they like, they like rip it in half or something, or they rip yeah. the legs off. That's like crab and stuff, because the crab it's like the leg meat that you eat. Yeah. So you have to like crack the shell open and stuff, and then pull the meat out. I've never done it because I've never had crab, I've never had lobster or anything. <laughs> yeah. So, Great. Sh shrimp is delicious. You, you can it's <laughs> Well. I mean, you've never had it. Yeah. But. I doubt I would like it, though. I Because just the, th the thought of it, I'd probably, like, throw up. <laughs> really? <laughs> because it looks like a shrimp, right? Well, Do it doesn't have, like, the whole carapace anymore, like, with the a shrimp. Cause is it just the tail? It do does it still have a head? Uh, no, it's like, it's like okay. a body, like, attached, like, the only part of the carapace that's left usually is, like, the tail. Okay. And then it's got, like, the whole body, like, it's just got the little bits of the meat from inside of the body, but then, like, the shell with the legs and the head and everything's gone. Oh, okay. So, okay, that's not bad, then. Because yeah. I'm just thinking, like, if they put, like, an actual, whatever it is, a bug, a fish, an animal, if they just put it there, <laughs> it's just, like, the whole thing. Yeah. That would just gross me out. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to eat, like, vegetables in front of that. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I guess if... But one with shrimp, I was thinking, like, it still had the legs and head and all no, that. No, 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 it doesn't. Okay. Unless, I think sometimes they might serve it like that, where you have to, like, crack it open and stuff and pull it out yourself. Yeah. I've never had it like that. I've only ever had the, like, catered stuff where it's, like, all the shrimp just outline a platter, you know? Yeah. Like, stuff like that. And then you just, like, grab it, dip it in some sauce and eat it. Yeah. Just don't eat the tail. Sauce. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So. Oh, that was a long time. <laughs> yeah. About food again. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Just like Prime. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Barbecue sauce. Mango sauce. More sauce. Jeez. What about Hungry Box sauce? <laughs> ah! Because cause Mango won over HBox at Smash Con. Is that a big deal? Not really. It's just. Well, I did It's they... just the People's Champs won Smash Con. Okay. Because Naira was kind of the People's Champ of Smash 4. Mango's the people's champ of Melee. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And, like, it's funny because. Is Hungrybox the Hungry buzz of. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I was just gonna say Hungrybox and the buzz are kind of in the same camp of not being well liked. Okay. And then Nairo and Mango are the people's champs. Because I and thought. both of them in grand finals. Okay. So. Because I don't follow Melee, but I thought after, like, one recent tournament, people were saying, like, okay, Hungrybox, since he won. 
You're like, okay, he must be like the best melee player now. I'd say he is, because he's he won Evo. I don't remember. He might have won CEO as well. I think he did. And yeah, he's like not gotten below second place at all this year, I don't think. So people are saying he's the best melee player right now, which I agree with. So yeah. Yeah. That's interesting how Mango is the people's champ, though. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen like, interviews with him, and he seems like really cocky to yeah. me. Mm -hmm. So he seems like he'd be more like the... Ally or Al anti. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like he does fill that role more in terms of his personality, but people still love him. Okay. So... Grand Melee is very, like, jacked up and caustic. Yeah. They're indeed. not very a very nice fandom. Yeah. So indeed. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> not that Smash 4 is... A shining yeah, it example. Is, yeah. <laughs> it is better, but not by much. Yeah. But yeah, Nairo definitely... I don't think I've ever seen him be, like... Even, like, cocky, really. I mean, uh, I mean like... I mean, I watch his stream and... On streams and, like, with when, Zero when he's and playing stuff. For Glory. And yeah. Like, yeah, then he is. But, like, after he wins and he's, like, in the interview, he's like, oh, yeah, they played well, you know? Yeah. Whatever. Not saying, like, sometimes when Mango's... On an interview, he's like, "Ah, oh, this person's shit." Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. But then, like, Nairo's always gracious. Yeah, in interviews, at least. W w with Mango, though, I think he's doing it more so just to play it up. Yeah. For, for the scene, you know. Yeah. Because like, I've also as much as I, as I've heard him like poop on the other top melee players, he also says he wants them to do good, and yeah. like wants them to be contenders because it makes things more interesting for the scene. And he wants to see them do well too. Okay. So, I think Mango is genuinely a nice guy. He just, just trolls his persona or whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> kind of like that line. Yeah, stuff. like I feel like yeah. anti is genuinely like mean sometimes, <laughs> but, but ally is just doing it for the trolls, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, go for you later. I'll go for you later. <laughs>